Hey, welcome to Wednesday Fly. We're going to start this fly with a size 12 standard dry fly hook. And stick around to the end. We got a special announcement at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. We're gonna for the silk or thread we're gonna use 70 denier brown could use black too it's kind of up to you Okay, now we're going to use that poly thread, or poly yarn I mean. We're going to put our thread right in the V of this poly wing, and then we're just going to cinch that one right down. Just pull that V right down on top, and then we're going to just start our figure eight. It's pretty easy. Now we're gonna tie in the tail here. I kind of messed up. I should. I kind of used the body hair. I recommend the deer tail fibers because then they won't flare for you. So I just messed up and grabbed the wrong one. So yeah, I would use deer tail and then you won't have this flare up. While we have this big pause here, go over to the channel, the first link below this video, in the description of this video, first link you come to, click there, and go over to Tracy's channel, and subscribe and comment, right, and you enter a contest, go check it out, you gotta go there, check it out how you enter, and enter the contest, there's only two people entered it so far, go check it out. <music> Okay, now we're gonna tie in our peacock, our first band of peacock. And I would get that down the bottom away from the eye, the eye of the peacock, the round part at the top. I'd do down a little further away from that. And tie that in and wrap it up to about eh, one fourth of the way up the hook shank. This should be an example of what not to do when tying a royal woola. Do not leave a gap between the tail and the first wrap of peacock like I did. It's going to be a learner. Now 
Now we're going to tie in our band between the peacock. And I just tie in a bobbin of red. I think I use pink here. You can use brown or red, pink. I don't notice much difference in any of the difference in what you use as a band. This it's kind of like works as a hot spot. Now we're gonna tie in some brown or light ginger. I use light ginger. Sometimes I use dark ginger. You can use different colors. Try it out. See if what you like. Um, and I tend to over hackle this. I've been to a lot of hackle. Like one because I'm using it as a dry dropper rig from the fly we used last week. And uh, we'll get into this at the end of this video. So I tend to over hackle it. trim the wing off and if you don't know how, how long that do it should be as long as the hook shank and if you want to know how to measure that go back to the last video I tied dry fly I tied I show you how to measure that hey I hope you like that whoa whoa it's a deadly fly even as a dry fly how about it Tracy sure is so now, the big surprise, we are going to go live in about 10 to 15 minutes. As soon as you, after you watch this fly, we're going to go live so we can answer your questions. And we might even start making this a habit. So come check out there. I'm also going to show you, I'll tell you a step on how to make your flies look more professional and better quality. So let's go. Join us. Look for the live to pop up any minute now. And let's go check us out live. See you there. Keep your lines wet. And out of the tree. And only give them fish a soul lift.